welcome back guys i am gonna try and make this video as close to three minutes as possible after i start speaking about my system so do keep in mind i did not implement the the stepper motor so it's not going to actually turn left if it's a bad item or turn right please keep that in mind i believe i will go back and get that done at some point but for now i just wanted to get this out so everyone could actually see how to do the entire exam i have left out a bit uh, of stuff here and there but i will go back and revisit this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to speak about the hardware and the software the hardware you speak about the individual components quickly and the software you speak about how you actually programmed it what's happening at each stage let's make a start now here is my name here is my reg and here is my center number this is something that you have to have in the video as well i'm just going to leave my piece of paper here time to speak about the hardware right so the hardware i have in my system is the raspberry pi pico there that's the green device i have a buzzer here two resistors connected to leds i have an i2c adapter there an lcd here and finally i have a hall sensor here and this is just being used for testing that's another buzzer that i'm just using to test how this works i'm going to unplug my system now the system was actually working i'm going to plug it back in and it's going to start running straight away i have no connection to the pc i'm going to show it's connected to some external usb port i can plug this into anything with a usb port and it will work fine because i named my file main.py which tells the raspberry pi pico to run that file as soon as power is given to the system so i'm going to plug this in now let me bring my hand back i'm going to plug that in and you're going to see the lights come on straight away there you go system should start working straight away counting down so the way the software works it counts down from three to one it tells me it's ready to start but for me to start i've got two buttons there i forgot to mention earlier the button on the left is going to be the start button the button on the right is going to be the emergency stop what should happen when i press the start button the system will start working as it's supposed to this magnet here being that close the system should be active it should work so what should happen is uh, the first function that I have running checks if there's a magnet. If there is a magnet, green LED goes on, the count should increase on the LCD, and the system just works as normal. So I'm going to press start now, and that should happen. Starts being pressed, green LED there. Oh, let me move this back. Magnets there. Good count should be increasing. Yep, good count is increasing. Six, seven, eight. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work through one unexpected event. So let's just say someone hands gets stuck in the machine, someone gets stuck. I'm going to press the stop button there and all the LEDs should flash. The buzzer should go off and it should say uh, stop button pressed on the LCD as well. There we go. Stop already pressed. I guess I held it down for too long. LEDs flashing, buzzer going off. Now, this will run forever until I actually press the start button again. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to press the button on the left, which is the start button, and the system should go back to its normal operation, should continue counting. Good. So the good count is increasing because the magnet's there. I'm going to move this magnet out of the way. And when I move it out of the way, the red LED should flash, should come on. The buzzer should beep once every second, and the bad count should start increasing. Just going to move that there we go red led on buzzer making sound bad count is being increased while good count is fixed at 16. now i'm going to reintroduce the magnet and everything should go back to normal there we go good count is increasing bad count has stopped system is working the final thing i want to show is me disconnecting so let's just say for argument's sake we lose power and power is then reintroduced, the power cut stops or comes back. I'm going to unplug the power cable from here. So this is the power cable for the Raspberry Pi, by the way. I'm going to unplug this cable. Everything goes off, as you can see. I'm going to plug it back in, and the system should start straight away. Should start counting down. So let me plug that back in there. Starts counting down straight away. You should then tell me it's ready to start. I'm going to press the start button again. There we go. Count has started. I'm going to press the stop button. There we go. Stop button works perfectly fine. I'm going to press the start button again. 
Start button works, continues counting, magnet is there. I'm going to move the magnet away again. Bad count starts increasing now. Perfect. So the system works as intended. Hopefully that was useful to you guys. All I've done is I've explained in roughly three or so minutes how my system works. I've spoken about the hardware and how it links to the software. So what would trigger what? I've mentioned in my PowerPoint that you should speak about maybe functions, while loops, if statements. I didn't go into that much detail. I simply explained what would happen at each juncture. So hopefully that was useful. Thank you guys for watching and good luck.